Welcome back everyone. Firstly, thank you for all of the support on my Becoming a Doctor video. To receive this kind of support makes me extremely excited to start and eventually finish my PhD. Whilst I am a long way off making a video about my own PhD, in fact I'm still deciding on the exact topic, I have a colleague of mine that really needs your help. She is creating a video game that aims to improve the social skills of people with autism. And you can be a part of this by completing a survey. If you've ever considered donating to my channel or just wanted to thank me for the content I create, don't. Do this instead. This is more valuable than money. This is more valuable than any donation. I just want to be clear, I'm not being paid by the university to promote this. This is simply helping a fellow researcher on a topic I thought you would be extremely interested in. To participate in this survey, you have to be at least 18 years or older and not have autism. The survey does take about an hour to complete. However, you can do it in portions and complete it over multiple days. The survey requires you to watch videos of facial expressions and rate them. The link is in the description below. Also, something else to consider. I am personally very used to creating content for thousands of people. I'm used to making mistakes in front of thousands of people. But today I'm talking about other people's work. People that are not used to YouTube, they are not used to receiving so many opinions all at once. They are not used to having thousands of people review their work. So all I ask is that when you leave feedback, that you leave the same respectful, thoughtful and considerate comments that you always do. Let me now explain the project, the video game and how this survey relates to it. For those of you who have not met someone with autism, you may not be aware of some of the issues they may experience. Whilst everyone with autism is individual and different, to be diagnosed with autism you have to have difficulties in a number of different areas. One of these areas is social skills. Someone with autism typically would have difficulties, say, with starting a conversation, ending a conversation, understanding someone else's point of view, understanding body language, interpreting facial expressions, and adjusting behavior to suit different environments. Obviously, this affects making friends at school, going to university, sitting a job interview, and so as therapists, we look for ways to teach these skills. The video game that they are making aims to isolate one of these skills and improve it. Specifically, how we interpret someone's facial expressions to understand their emotions. So let me explain how they aim to do this in the game. The game is set in space. You play as a robot and your mission is to understand human emotions so that you can return to Earth and be passed as a human. By the way, this concept, the law of the game, was created by a focus group of people with autism who decided this story was the most engaging and exciting way to explore the scenario. The game developers also have a number of people on the team with autism. To complete the game, you have to navigate a number of missions which requires you to interact with NPCs and successfully interpret the NPC's emotion. The NPC will use facial expressions to convey if they are upset about something or angry about something else, and correctly understanding this expression will lead to a successful mission. Think about the game L.A. Noir, where you are a detective who tries to determine if someone is lying depending on their facial expressions. It uses a similar concept, but obviously it is specifically designed by therapists and targeted to people with autism. Once a game has been developed, we obviously need to test whether it works, whether it can improve someone's ability to recognize emotion. There are a couple of different ways that the team will measure this. One is eye tracking, and the second is EEG, which is a test that detects electrical activity in the brain. When the person plays the game, the PC they are using has an eye tracking device set up on it, and it collects data to determine exactly where the gamma is looking on screen. Eye tracking is important because for us to recognize how people are feeling, we have to look at their face. So we hope that as the gamer plays the game more 
they pay more and more attention to focusing on the faces of the NPCs. And they realize that looking at the NPC's face is critical to understanding their emotion, which is critical to their mission success. However, just looking at someone's face does not necessarily mean that you can interpret that emotion. So the EEG aims to see if the person with autism has electrical activity changes in the brain from playing this game. For example, we know what parts of the brain should light up if you see someone upset or angry. So we want to test if playing this game encourages certain parts of the brain to activate at the correct time. So why do we need to complete a survey? Well, the survey is required to form a baseline of facial expressions. The survey presents you with different videos of facial expressions and you have to rate them on different emotions e.g. happy, sad, excited, etc. The data from the survey is used to design the facial expressions of the NPCs. Basically, by completing this survey, you will have played a part in designing this game. If you would like to help, please consider completing the survey. Whilst this does not directly relate to my own PhD, if we get a good response, it provides a lot of fuel for me to involve you in my own research which I would love to do. It demonstrates to universities and academics that YouTube can offer a group of passionate people that want to be involved in research. If you would like to support the channel, and more so, if you would like to support the people creating this video game, leave the phrase, Game Therapy. To acknowledge the collective power of the people on YouTube, complete strangers to each other that would happily come together for a good cause. Before finishing, as I mentioned in the last video, each week you will receive a sketch of some Destiny artwork. This week is Golgoroth, the Orb Weaver. Hope you enjoy it. Once again, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.